We've already talked about the benefits of early soybean planting from yield and climatological standpoints. This week, we'll look at how early soybean planting can help manage water stress. With funding from the United Soybean Board, UNL professor of agronomy and horticulture Jim Specht is conducting research on this topic. Jim says there are three ways to manage soybean water stress. The first is with irrigation, which isn't available to all producers. The second is by using a no-till system. The third is by getting your soybeans in the ground as early as possible. Well, planting date is important because you want to get canopy closure in your soybean field uh, uh, before too much water, before the temperatures get too hot and you evaporate more water from the soil. So when you close the canopy, most of the water that's escaping from that canopy is going from the leaf stone mates, which we want, not from the soil tell evaporation. Me, right, tell me more about that. Rather than having it evaporate from the soil, you want it through the plant. Yeah, um, agronomists and climatologists call that uh, uh, water loss from the field ET, which stands for evapotranspiration. And what you want is more transpiration and less evaporation. Evaporation is soil basically evaporating as vapor from the soil. And, uh, and transpiration is when you have the stomates open and they're doing photosynthesis. You don't mind that. In fact, you want it because you want the stomates open. So you want it to happen by July 4th, ideally, right? Yeah. We have the saying in soybeans I've used for a long time, I want to see your soybean field green to the eye by the 4th of July. I don't want to see any soil through that canopy. Yeah. You want it to close up by then. Uh, what happens if it doesn't? What have you noticed in yield? Well, uh, the sooner you get it closer, uh, closure in the, in the, after you plant, the better off you are. Because in, when we measured planting date uh, effects, uh, you lose about a quarter to five-eighths of a bushel per acre per day after May 1. And the former is for a bad year, like 2003, and uh, others for a good year that you might have that you can take advantage of by getting canopy closure sooner. And how much more sunshine can you gain from that as well? Ah, yes. Uh, remember, in soybeans, uh, we're, we can collect sunlight before the summer solstice, and therefore, if we can do that, when the, when the um, number of hours per day of sunlight is increasing, then obviously we can capture more sunlight and use that and pile that on with the rest we're going to capture the rest of the year. We're talking a lot about transpiration and evaporation. How much can an acre of soybeans use? Ah, that's a good question. Most people don't recognize how much water a, a crop uses. Uh, we figure that it takes about 20 acre inches. An acre inch is an inch of water, an acre uh, deep. And that's 20 acre inches is uh, about 27,154 times 20. That's about a half million gallons of acre, uh, water per acre that a soybean crop will use to get 75 to 80 bushel yields. That's more than a small town water tower holds. They only hold about 300,000. So your water, small town water tower, you'd only be able to feed an acre of soybeans for just three fifths of the water it's gonna use for that season. Now, do you think most farmers are realizing the need for that much water or? Well, I think most people, urban folk in particular, uh, underestimate that because in mid, and around the, the 4th of July, for example, each plant out there on a regular day will be drinking a cup of water and using it for transpiration. And if you'd summed it all up, it's about like 70 cups of water. So you'd need to put a five gallon bucket out there next to every plant to, to solve it. Now some of that water is stored in the soil already and use that. But think of an urban person at a house, if they had to water 120,000 plants in their house, they'd be doing it all day long. <laughs> now you've noticed that farmers across the state have begun planting soybeans sooner than in the past. Yes, uh, our Nebraska producers are, are very smart. They've been doing it for since 1980, increasing, uh, advancing the uh, soybean date and towards earlier May and late April plantings by a half a day per year. And that's about 15 days total over the last 30 years. And if you apply that to our quarter bushel an acre or five eighths of a bushel per acre per day, you know, you're getting a good sum increase in yield. So, Actually, we're doing it better than every other state except maybe, well, even Iowa, we got them beat now. <laughs> Our previous interviews on early soybean planting with Roger Elmore and Tapan Potic can be found on the Market Journal mobile app or through the previous programs tab on the Market Journal website.